y'all wanted to see more of my rounds. compilation video of all of my rounds here at WEC because y'all wanted to see more of my rounds. We're just filming all of them and putting them in one video for y'all. So I hope you guys like it. These first rounds I'm going to is in the class 2-9 USHJ. Oh, is she afraid of her shadow? I think so. She's being like very like, what is that? And she keeps like looking around and stuff. We're okay. That is a scary shadow. Coming in to Hunter 3 next to compete is number 1043. This is Empress, piloted by the owner and started off really well then after one of our jumps Posh just started getting strong and I wasn't handling it properly and then um, we just sort of got huge and stuff and really powerful and it was just not the neatest last like four jumps. It is what it is right Addy? Yeah we have next round we're going in again. So All right round two. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> showing in January and we had two weeks worth of showing in January so I mean today has already has such an amazing start for the week and I can't wait to see how the other rounds look like Good job, Pashi. it's currently day two of Weko Kala and we got a chiropractor lady out for posh yesterday because she was feeling a little stiff from our last horse show in January she just worked wonders like we don't know how she does it but Posh just looked so much better and like her neck was really stiff and stuff and she just like stretched it out massaged everything so she's taught me some um, stretches to do with Posh at the beginning of every ride so our new routine is to put the beamer on her first while I get myself ready then once I'm ready I'll stretch her out and get ready to ride We did these like an hour ago after I hacked her earlier, and she does not want to do these again. But they're for the better, so we have to. It's like convincing a child to take medicine they don't want to. It's okay! Posh is actually quite impressive with this, because she can go like back here. And a bunch of horses can't stretch that far back. But Posh can go like, see, she can go really far back. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. It helps to stretch her pull out. And her pull should be just like running up through the top of her neck. But it's a little crooked. And we don't know if she was born that way or not. So we're just kind of stretching it out and hoping that it'll make her less stiff while riding. And it's definitely worked so far. She's seems so much better and she looks so much better so I bet she feels so much better and I'm really happy that she feels better so we're gonna keep it up. Good girl. Good girl. Oh. Yeah. Good job, huh? That's what really stretches her out. 
Let's go riding. Yep, let's go. We're about to go do the USHJ 29. Wish us luck. <laughs> And the first round was a mess. We didn't end up finishing it. We couldn't go to the outside line coming home. But the second round, I definitely got my act together. It was probably one of the best rounds I ever did. We had a diagonal line coming home and I added a stride in that one. So we're supposed to have 16, six steps in the outside line coming home, but I put seven steps in it. So that was really good. And everything else we already got really well and perfectly. So I'm really happy with the second one. Day three, we're going to our equitation flat class, and then we have our three foot equitation over fences. You looking forward to your Friday, Addie? Uh, <laughs> I'm not the best at equitation, and yeah, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we're gonna have fun though, right? Yeah, it's gonna be fun, but I mean, sit trot. <laughs> yeah. It's not what I excel at. I don't really practice that at home. So mm -hmm. when we go to shows and it's equitation flat class, I just kind of wing it and we see how it goes. class and in that we were I mean I, man it wasn't very good we broke down in the canner about halfway through the, the flat class because we were cantering and we bro broke down and started trotting so that wasn't very good that was caused by me wanting her to slow down I'm sorry and asking her to slow down without adding any legs to keep her actually cantering now, and what you just saw was our three foot um, equitation over fences Hi. and that once again, was not amazing, but it was our second time doing it, and it was really good for our second time, and it's a huge improvement from yesterday, so we all can't wait to see what we have in store for tomorrow. raining all weekend. Yesterday did not go very well for us. We crashed through a jump. We both saw a long spot. 
So we both decided to take it, but when I got to my jumping position, my hands went to my lap, kind of, into the saddle, and that kind of prevented her from actually taking off. So she kind of half took off, half tumbled through the jump. It was not the best. Um, she was kind of off in her back right, and we had this really amazing chiropractor come out and help her. And I mean, by the time she was finished working, Posh looked brand new, like her leg wasn't limping at all. So we're trying our flat class today, and if Posh doesn't look very good in the flat class, we're just gonna scratch the over fences, but I'm pretty faithful in it. I think that Posh is gonna do well. I hope it's all gonna go well, so we'll see how it goes. We're getting ready to go to the the 14 and under, under saddle flat class, and then after that, about an hour later, we are going to the over fences. I do have the results to share with you now for our uh, Children's Hunter Under Saddle competition for our 14 and unders. And it is uh, my privilege to start that. But before I share that, let's take a moment, please. And everyone, let's give a large round of applause to our guys. Fifth to number 10 to 43, I need Ford Everest. So Addie, you got fifth. You got, got a ribbon. Fifth in my flat class. It was kind of scary because we had so many people in our flat class that I thought they'd like break us up to canter. Because that's what they usually do when it's like really full. But they did it. We all went off the left lead together in the canter, and I'm like, okay, this is a lot. <laughs> and then when we went down, when we switched directions to go to off the right, that was like the real scary part because they broke us up. They get, they told us five numbers. They said the following numbers please stand on the quarter line closest to the judge. And I'm like, okay. And then they said my number and I thought I was gonna be eliminated. <laughs> <laughs> they let the other group of people like trot and canter off the right. Then they took another five people from that group and said, these numbers, please stand on the quarter line facing the judge. Then they eliminated the rest of the people on the rail. So we were the only ones remaining and I thought I was getting eliminated. So there were 10 <laughs> remaining for eight places. Yeah. So I'm like, oh no, this is not good because I thought I was getting eliminated. Yeah. And then they're like, everyone on the rail, you are excused. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> I mean, this other girl like looked at each other. And we're like, okay. oh, she didn't know either. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Funny. Then they told us to like trot and canter off the right and stuff. 
And I'm like, okay. And they had us canning for a really long time. They did. And we ended up getting fifth place out of like Yay! a ton of people. Yay, good job, so, Addy. Fifth out of great. probably 20, 25 people. Yeah, I'd say so. Something like that. Good that job, great. Addy. Thank you. I love this sport because you can go from the lowest of lows well, as you did yesterday uh -huh. when you clipped that jump. Yeah. And it kind of brought you down for the day. The camera's like, you <laughs> <laughs> and then you turn things around the next day mm -hmm. and you have a good run, you get a ribbon and yeah. it kind of brightens your whole day, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Addy, I present to you <laughs> fifth place. Yeah. Yay! We're breaking down the barn and we're about to head back to Tennessee and we're about to go to the airport. So I'll see you guys in the next one. XOXO, bye!